Welcome back to No Man's Land, last episode of 2023. And just been visiting the neighbours. Uh, they have a nice uh, house here, a lovely yard. Bit of rubbish, but uh, that's normal. And uh, after the last episode, the uh, map is looking a little bit different. Uh, a lot more uh, trees around and landscaping. So, but we have this harvest to complete, and we have uh, the grapes to harvest, and also the olives for the first time. Uh, so, let's get the uh, harvest back on track. Radio. That one's full, so we're going to work a waiting there. And we need that over there, but let's uh, get the other one started up. And get the uh, chaser bin over and uh, get those two uh, combines unloaded. I can see where they are. Um, one right over there. I can't see the other one. Okay. Ah, there it is. Right, get the first one unloaded. I think we're a bit more than halfway. I said in the last episode that we're about halfway through. But no, I think a bit, a bit more than halfway. And the money's looking good. After spending a million <laughs> on the landscaping, it was getting a bit difficult to spend it all, to be honest. Um, but then it suddenly all went pretty quickly. Right, is that one done? Let's go uh, around to the other harvester. Get this one unloaded and then we'll get this uh, chaser bin emptied into the uh, grain trailer. There we go, and uh, about 70% or so. 60 cents. Right, let's go and get this uh, unloaded the pipe out and get this into the grain trailer. Mm -hmm. The plan was to, God, it's already got some in it. Um, plan was to get the grape harvesting and the olive harvesting done in between dealing with the uh, canola harvest. So I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll try. But the, the uh, harvesters fill up pretty quickly, so may not work out. And the uh, trailer fills up pretty quickly actually, so you've got to keep taking that to the store. Okay. Now, let's turn that on. Uh, it's doing the old pedals are doing the old uh, starting trick. Try that. I'll fix that up. I found out the way to fix that is just to unplug the wheel and plug it back in again, which is a bit inconvenient, but uh, <laughs> it's just started again for no reason. Oh, we'll let it run. Okay, let's get a. Oh. I went too far there. Uh, yes, grape harvest and the olive harvest will be uh, the first one we've done. I'll get this ready to go. But I won't just start it just yet. Go over and have a look at these olives. I've got a bit more work to do here with my landscaping. Uh, yeah, that didn't work out very well there. <laughs> Fix that up off camera at some point. So apparently the olives are ready to go. Yes, I can see them. Excellent. So we need to get a olive harvester. 
which will probably be under other technology. There it is, 306,000. Uh, yeah, not many options there. I don't know what the different wheel setups would be, so we'll just, uh, we shall buy that. Okay, and we'll get over to the store. And these go, 55%. 81%. Uh, okay, so we're not going to have much time. So that's the new hollow harvester. Looks pretty much like the great one, to be honest. Um, I don't think they're interchangeable though. Let's hope not. <laughs> uh, should I send this off on a worker? It would be risky. We won't worry about that. I did use the worker once to take the uh, the grape harvester it might have been or something over over there and it uh, did get a little bit lost so we'll get this down part of the way and then get over to the chaser bin. Yes that one's full already. Yes, yeah, so you don't get any time in between unload, unloading the harvesters to really do anything else. But that's okay. So it may well be that we don't get uh, any other harvesting done in this episode at all. Not quite sure. Uh, the other one is probably yeah 91 percent okay and then we'll have to empty the the grain bin because the grain trailer because that's almost full so this is how the harvesting uh, usually works out <laughs> Come across here to this one. I'm not going to drive all the way around the field. It would uh, take way too long. But, uh, this one empty. They hold quite a lot, these combines. Right, nearly there. There we go. And we'll get this over to the trailer and get the trailer taken to the store. Another load of canola. Radio. It's unloaded. This trailer has three compartments, which is a little bit uh, more time consuming than if it had one, but uh, yeah, does the job. And that one's finished. Switch to the next compartment. Here we go. And we've still got over a million dollars in the bank, so we're doing pretty well. Need to go forward a bit for the next one. There we go. And the last compartment. I guess I should have been driving the uh, olive harvester while I was uh, doing this, but never mind. Right. That's it empty. Let's get this back to the field. Okay, park that up there and empty the grain bin, grain bin, chaser bin. Okay, now we're going 77% to that one. Let's try and get this a bit further down the road. Uh, 
never harvested olives before in FS2010, so that would be good. And turn them into lovely olive oil. I need to put a double bridge in here, it's a bit narrow. Right? It's a lovely avenue of trees we've got to drive through. Now, I better just leave it there and check on everything else. Sixty-nine percent. Get this ready to get to whichever harvester is going to be full next. Uh, not quite sure which one that will be. Oh, ninety-four percent. So the one coming up towards us there, I believe. Yes, there's no time to do anything else. I think if we get the house down to the uh, down to the olive grove, I think we'll be doing well. Right, another load of canola into the grain trailer, and I was going to leave it and uh, get back to the uh, olive harvester, but it doesn't take long to fill this one up. I'll wait till I get to the rear compartment. Here we go. Right, so we can get this down there. Okay, we'll see how we go on crossing this uh, wonky bridge. There's only just enough room uh, through that gate. Ooh, the bridge doesn't look good, does it? Uh, could come to grief here. No, made it all right. So, I'm guessing we unfold this. Let's get up over this bump. Whoa. Right, oops, stop, stop, stop. Right. Fold it and start it up. And just much the same as the, the great one. And off we go. This and it's harvesting olives. Very good. Ooh, don't know where I am now. <laughs> don't like that very much. Right, we'll just get to the end of this row and then uh, I'll get back to the uh, canola harvest. So it looks like about just over 10% a row. So uh, it's going to take a while to fill it up. And I hope there's enough room to turn around at the end here. Just leave that temporarily. Uh, I'm not sure how the animals and everything are going. Can't start the great one yet. Uh, that's only 63. Uh, the truck is the trailer's nearly full though, so probably need to get back to the chaser bin and just get a bit more in there. Where's the closest harvester? Right there. And just get this uh, topped up a bit and get that uh, grain trailer forward over to the store. Whilst right, doing that, let's have a quick look. Pretty sure the animals are still okay. Uh, 
Yep, those cows are alright. So are they. Chooks are fine. And the sheep are fine. Yeah. How's the gold production going? That's the uh, one I always uh, concerned about. Um, gold is going well. So we should have quite a bit to sell. There uh, should be some slurry. I didn't check the slurry. Let's have a quick look. No, it's very slow to produce. No, I'll let that build up. And we'll get this into the grain train. Radio. This will fill it up easily. Yes. So, I'll just uh, jump out and jump into the truck and get this over to the store and another load of lovely canola there we go and we'll probably uh, jump into a little bit of a time lapse now and uh, get this harvest completed. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away, as you fade away, yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Okay, looks like the uh, harvesters have met in the middle again. Yes, definitely. Ah, oh, no. I've run out of fuel. I forgot to check that. Ah, that's a nuisance, but we can uh, fix it up. I think. <laughs> Back into the other one. Oh no, they both run out. <laughs> oh dear, you got to laugh. Um, all right. So uh, I can uh, reset them, but uh, oh, went past. So that one's 28% and that one's can't read it. Oh, 69%. Okay, so we need to get a refueling vehicle. All right, we'll uh, come back when we've uh, sorted out the refueling issue. Okay, I have just purchased this fuel trailer and uh, I'm going to fill that up and refuel the harvesters. And we can keep this on the uh, farm for uh, future fuel requirements. So that works out well. So I feel this, we will get back over to the field. There we go. The uh, harvester is filling up with fuel. Uh, let's hope I've got enough to do both. At least I'll get one full and one partially full. And there goes the second one. So it looks like we'll have enough fuel to fill them both, that's good. Ok, 
Yep, that's both of them full. Well, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> so I'll just get this over here because the tractor's got to go back on the uh, chaser bin and then we'll get the harvest harvesting completed. Alright, just jump into this harvester and we'll uh, get back into the other one and set that off on a worker. into this one and we'll just uh, tidy up the uh, rest of the field and I'll come back when it's been completed okay just tidying up this uh, last little piece that the worker missed I think there might be a little bit over the other side, but I've got the other harvester over that way. I don't think there's any more up this side, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's put this back into the chaser bin. Last little bit. Okay, the last uh, bit of canola. I'll try and get it all that in all the same compartment, uh, which I didn't manage to. So I'll probably fill two anyway, so that's right. That's the field all done. And of course, the next thing to do will be to uh, get something else in this field, another crop, and for that we need the uh, the big direct drill. So we shall purchase that. As soon as I finish with uh, putting this canola over to the store and sold. So the final load of canola. Uh, got a little bit in the front there. No, it's doing the centre one. Of course it is. That's doing the real one. And now the little bit in the front. Here it goes. Very good. Right. We'll uh, get this back over in the yard. And then I'll come back and purchase the cedar. Right, just uh, drop the uh, truck off there. And uh, we'll get over to the store. And uh, cedars. And of course we know which one we're getting. It's uh, that one. Yep, very expensive. We'll buy that. And the uh, bit that goes with it, the tank. Buy that. And let's just go over and have a bit of a look. There it is. Always impressed by the size of these things. They are huge. And we have our new tractor to tow them. So yeah, that's all uh, very good. So that'll probably uh, do it for this episode. And it's the final episode until the new year. So I'd just like to thank all my uh, subscribers for your support. Uh, through this year and uh, all the people that have uh, 
viewed my videos and uh, left comments and likes much appreciated and I look forward to continuing the series in the new year and just to have a great uh, new year and a good break over the over the Christmas period and I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching bye